Hello everybody and welcome back to Up the Hill. Y'all, it's been forever since I've done a cooking show, so I'm super excited. I've not done one in a very long time. I've actually not cooked in a bit. <laughs> so, I'm going to make noodle bake. Y'all, that was one of my mama's um, favorite dishes to make. It's kind of like... Um, kind of like lasagna but just you know just a little different and i forgot to of course i forgot to set out my cream cheese i'm using cream cheese instead of ricotta cheese simply because my grocery store did not have um ricotta cheese so i'm gonna use cream cheese which is what i use when i make stuffed shells anyway i believe it'll be good so here we go so what i'm gonna start off with is i'm gonna get my pot going with some water for my noodles and i use egg noodles for this oh i hope everybody's having a great day thank y'all so much for um tuning in and if you like what you're seeing please subscribe please subscribe to my channel um that way you'll get notified when I'm on or post a video. So, please subscribe. That would be greatly appreciative. I'm going to put another bottled water in there. And guys, I use bottled water um, just, just because I don't like our water here in my town. <laughs> it's a little bit gross. And just, for, you know, I just prefer that, so it's okay. So... I've got my eye on. I'm going to throw in some butter and a little bit of vegetable oil. I'm going to set this back down. And a little bit of vegetable oil. I'm going to saute some onions really quick. Uh, let me turn that down. So, let me get... I'm gonna set this cream cheese out over here. Um, I actually need my cream cheese to be softened and I completely forgot to set it out. Imagine that, y'all know I'm the queen of forgetfulness. Queen of forgetfulness, let me try that again. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set this on the stove. Um, since my eyes are hot, it's kind of warming up my stove. So I'm just gonna set it there and let it soften a little bit until I need it. Um, while that's melting, I'm going to cut up my onion. Turn that down a little bit. I'm going to cut up my onion. Can y'all see me okay? I like you this angle because if I set you on the other counter, there's a window back here and it, it kind of gives off a glare. So let me just kind of zoom y'all. Well, it's not going to let me zoom you in. Anyway, I'm just chopping up an onion. <laughs> Let me move that handle. Maybe you can see a little bit better. So I'm just going to chop up a big old onion. It's a pretty good size onion. And y'all know I'm not professional. I don't do all that, you know, whatever kind of dicing they do. I just chop it up until it looks good and I throw it in. And I'm gonna let it saute um, and then I'm gonna put my hamburger meat in and let it be cooking so this like I said is a pretty good size onion go ahead and get all this in there and again I am making noodle bake it's kind of like a lasagna um, but with egg noodles and I normally would use ricotta cheese, but my grocery store didn't have it, so I got cream cheese. And I'm just going to melt the cream cheese in with my hamburger meat, um, as if I was doing maybe stuffed shells. Um, it'll still be good, I'm sure. So like I said, I've got a really big onion. Cut it up. <laughs> got to be careful. All right. It just gives the sauce a little flavor. Like I said, I'm not professional. I just cut it up until I like how it looks. <laughs> and 
and then put it on in here. Let me turn that back up a little bit. Get all this onion in there. Oh, y'all, this is going to be so good. So good. All right, throw this away. Let me get some more butter out. Y'all just see me going back and forth from the camera. <laughs> All right. Just kind of wipe that off a little bit. Now, let me get some more butter. Y'all, I'm all about some butter. I didn't say I was a healthy cook. I'm just a flavorful cook. All right. I'm a very flavorful cook. I'm going to put another three, uh, three tablespoons of butter in here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I've got some water heating up to a boil. I need to put some butter in it for the noodles. And I'm gonna cook the egg noodles um, almost all the way done because they're gonna get um, done the rest of the way in the oven because we're gonna bake it here in a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my oven on to 375. Let me stir these up a little. I love the smell of sauteed onions. Oh my gosh, y'all. Do you know what it's missing? Do you know what it's missing? It is making, or missing, bacon grease. What, y'all, this is the best stuff to cook with. And like I said, I'm not a healthy cook. I'm not here to uh, <laughs> promote unhealthy cooking or anything, but this is what I like. Um, everything is better with a little bacon grease. <laughs> oh, yes. Especially sauteed onions. Shut the front door. Here we go. Oh, my. Yes. I'm about to throw that hamburger meat in there and let it be cooking up. Our water is about to boil for the noodles. This is softening up because again, the eyes are hot, making the stove hot, so it's softening up because I forgot to leave it out. You know, there's ways to do things and there might be even a better way to soften cream cheese besides that, but it's all right. Oh, mercy, y'all, seriously. That is smelling good. Let me see. I don't think I have any garlic. Let me check. If you have um, minced garlic, be sure and put it in there. And I sure do. Yes, I sure do. Um, you know what comes later when we put the meat in? Dale's. Oh my gosh. Y'all know this is the bomb and my favorite. Alright, so let me throw a little garlic in here before I put the meat in. Oh, y'all. Shut up. Ooh, it's smelling good in here, y'all. Smelling good. <laughs> and I'm putting about a table, well, this is about a teaspoon because I'm about out. I'm just going to put the whole rest of the bottle in there, or jar, whatever. Because I didn't have much left. I thought I had a little bit more than that, but I think that'll be just right. And again, we are making noodle bake my way. <laughs> you make it your way. This is my way. Um, what I'm going to do since I need hold on. Y'all know I can't multitask. Since I'm going to need Dale's later for the meat, I'm going to pour Dale's in this and just get the rest of that minced garlic out of there. <laughs> yes. Oh, mercy. All right. This away. Okay, let me go ahead and put my, I've got ground beef. I'm going to pour it in there. I'm going to try not to touch it so I don't have to wash my hands again. But if I do, I will wash my hands. <laughs> I'm just 
going to wash my hands. There's no way, there's no way really not to touch it. There probably is, but I'm just going to touch it. And kind of crumble it up as I put it in there. And use whatever meat you want. If you want to use sausage or a different uh, ground beef, you can. I used 80 20, I believe it was. I could be wrong. I don't even know it anymore. <laughs> Washing my hands. I'll be right back over there. All right. All right, our water is almost boiling there. We get all this kind of, you know, chunked up or whatever. Kind of mix it up in with the onions. Oh my gosh, the onions and the butter and the bacon grease. Yeah. Y'all, it's going to be some flavorful stuff. a pretty good bit of grease so you'll want to um, drain it before you make the noodle bake because you're going to layer the noodle bake like you would a lasagna so you'll want to drain that grease I believe I'm pretty sure about it okay let me go ahead and put some spices in here I'm going to put some black pepper I'm going to put some garlic salt, of course. Got to have garlic salt. I'm going to put, let's see. I'm going to put a little bit of red pepper flakes. Because you know we always like stuff spicy around here. <laughs> a little bit more. All right. Now, I'm going to throw in my dills that I have back here in the minced garlic jar. Getting the rest of that garlic out of there. Let me go ahead and put our egg noodles in. Hold on. And these are just the wide egg noodles that I'm making this with. And I'm just going to, I've already got my butter in there. I'm going to throw some garlic salt in here and then I'm just going to use the whole bag the whole bag you probably won't use it all for your noodle bake um, but you might I don't know I, I normally don't use the whole thing but just in case pour it all in there stir it around like I said I want to get those almost done and now finish cooking in the oven. Okay, let me go ahead and put my dills in here. I just poured dills in the minced garlic container because I was about out and it's just getting the rest of the garlic out. Ooh, yes. Throw that away. Seriously. <laughs> Not a very good aim, huh? I am. I turn that sucker up. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to drain that. That is liquidy. Here comes Rich. He went to the post office for me. Yes. Alright. So I'm just going to get a bowl to drain that um, extra grease in. Just put it, you know, in a, in a bowl or a plate or whatever and pour it through a strainer to get that grease out of there. Let me get my spaghetti sauce. Spaghetti sauce. This is what they had at my grocery store. I like to 
use ragu if I can find it, but um, our store didn't have it. So, but that's that's okay. That is all right. You use what you got. You make this your own. However you want. I'm just showing you how we do it and how we like it around here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and strain this. Let me stir these noodles up again. I'm gonna strain this and then put in my. Ooh, that's good and soft. I'm gonna put that in. That is my cream cheese. All right. So let me just strain this. Woo. Oh, it's heavy. dishes actually so I might just leave all the meat and the sauce on the bottom and put the noodles on top and cheese all over it and then just go for the meat you never know it's all gonna be mixed together anyway so this is looking good y'all oh
garlic. I don't have to cook. Yeah, look. All right, y'all, we're almost to the layering stage. OMG. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't think I have a. Oh, I do. I have that dish. I'm going to use a dish instead of putting it in that pan. We're going to actually layer it. <laughs> we are going to layer it. Yes. Tommy. Hi. <laughs> yeah, this is my friend Tommy's uh, Pioneer Woman. He actually sent us home with some uh, food in it one night. And January I just, 1st. Yeah, kind of like New Year's <laughs> Eve. <laughs> Tommy, I'm sorry I haven't returned it yet, but I promise we'll be up soon. <laughs> but I'm going to use his Pioneer Woman. Um, casserole dish. Y'all, it's so beautiful. Thanks, Tommy. I love you. <laughs> All right. So that's what I'm going to use. Oh, yes. <laughs> we haven't seen them since then, I don't think. Yeah, we have, but it was for a quick second. <laughs> oh, Lordy. All right. So, like I said, we're about to the layering stage. What I'm gonna do is, let me move all of this stuff right here. We'll have garlic bread too, y'all, yes, oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so here's what I do. I get a slotted spoon. <laughs> that is trivial. Turn this off. Everything's going off with the oven now. Everything's about to go in the oven. But first, while I'm waiting just a few seconds, I'm going to throw in some mozzarella cheese, just shredded mozzarella cheese into the meat mixture and let it just get ooey and gooey. <laughs> That's been my word lately. Ooey and gooey. That's what this is going to be. Um, but we're also going to put it in the casserole. So hold on just a second. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. All right. So, I'm going to turn this off. It's pretty loud. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring my noodles over here so y'all can see what we're doing. Like I said, I just wanted to melt some mozzarella cheese in there, too. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Just in with the sauce. Y'all, this sauce looks amazing. Let me show you. Oh, it's heavy. Look at that. Ooh. It looks so good. Oh, my gosh. And it smells really good, too. Okay, so I'm going to start with my egg noodles. I'm going to put that as the first layer. The first layer. And I didn't drain the water off because, you know, I just didn't. Y'all might. I don't know. <laughs> I just didn't. Just because. Didn't want to. Don't have to, I don't reckon, so that's okay. Alright. So I've got my uh, noodles on the bottom there. Let me put one more. One more. And on those noodles, you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm just gonna throw some pads of butter on there before the sauce. I think just just because. That'll be so good. What do you think? You think it'll be good? <laughs> Let it melt into it. I hope the... so. I'm the one gotta eat it. <laughs> you ain't got to. I 
do for me. That's right. I ain't even quite that. <laughs> oh my, that can't be bad though. Can't be bad. Maybe not. What's good your seasoning on this? Put the little mm -hmm. on it. I did in the water too, but I will right now too. Put some garlic salt on. <clears throat> on the noodles. You know, just enough to flavor the noodles themselves. Then I'm gonna put the cheese um, on the noodles. I'm gonna put some cheese on the noodles and the butter. Shut up, seriously. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's right there. <laughs> Yes, y'all, that looks so good. Oh, yes. All right, now, here we go with some sauce. Let me get a big old spoon. Got a big old spoon for the sauce. Let me just stir it up. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Oh, well, there went the dog about it. Right on the floor. Okay, here we go. Spoon a big old spoon of that sauce on here. <gasps> yes. Oh, and it's cheesy. That's one thing this is not lacking is cheese. Yes. Oh my. Y'all. This is no joke. Kind of spread that around a little bit. Let's get some more. All right, now let me just show y'all. I've got the whole bottom covered. Mmm, don't that look good? And then you just, I think I'm gonna throw some more cheese on right, right about here. Just leave enough to cover your top with, oh my, cannot be bad at all. Can't be, no way. All right, now some more noodles. but if I turned it around the other way you've got the view of the window and it gives a glare so I'll show you in just a second what this part looks like oh that just jumped right in there and I'm, I'm sure I will have noodles left over you may use more than I did in yours that's up to you So, I kind of made sure I did. Alright, so there's the noodles. Okay, all the noodles. And again, I think I might throw a little bit more butter on there. I know, I didn't say this was healthy by any means. So, do it how you want to. That's how I'm doing it. <laughs> oh my. sauce. I'm just going to pour it over it. That'll be easier. I'm just going to use the rest of that sauce. Look at that. Oh my. Look at 
けどねマネーズThen you just cover the rest with cheese and put it in the oven for, um, it's already done, so you just put it in the oven till your cheese is melted and then it's done. We are having garlic bread with it and uh, that's it. That is it. That is a noodle bake. I'll take a picture of it when it gets done. Oh my goodness, it looks so good, y'all. It's going to be so good and cheesy. I'm gonna put a little bit of extra garlic salt on top. And a little bit of black pepper. And that's it. I'm gonna throw it in the oven. It's at 375 until it becomes bubbly and melty. And then I'll show y'all what it looks like afterwards. So thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Love you big. Bye.